Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, it is lovely to have you here. Now as promised I am going to be um, working with some 12 by 12 papers and I said I'd show you um, what I was going to do with them. So um, I'm going to create, well I'm going to create the signatures because I haven't thought about the covers or done the covers or anything yet. I'm basically just doing the pages to show you um, what I'm creating with the pages. So this is um, what I started with, um, th this is going to be my actual make, this was like um, prototype as it were. So I was playing with um, initially 12 by 12 pages that have got either white backgrounds or pages that are not necessarily my thing. Um, and I started playing with them, you know, without trying to cut them up into letter size or A4 size, using them um, just about the full size. Now these I did trim down a little bit so they would fit in a cover. You know, as I've gone on to do one, I'm not I'm not trimming much at all. Um, so basically what I've done is folded them over to make um, pockets. They need cutting down the middle. That's just a, a page in the middle. But these are all 12 by 12s. And then, you know, the pocket that I haven't cut off. You know, it's a lovely big pocket for stuffing with things. Um, but you know, the paper is on both sides. And then all I need to do in here is either um, stencil or um, stick papers in, which I did in that one. I stuck some beautiful paper and in the middle I put um, text because these are going to be stuck down. You, you don't need them any further than that. Um, you know, and just glue either way, that way or that way. And basically you'll have you know, a journal full of pockets, or mostly pockets. So I didn't get any further than that with my prototype, but my idea was, you know, to collage, because these, these one-sided papers are paper, they're quite thin. So I could collage on them, or I could just stick coffee dyed paper, stencil them, whatever. So that was my, you know, my idea, um, a prototype idea, if you like. And I will make that into a journal, because it's pretty, I like it. We'll finish it off, but this is what I've um, gone on to, which is the beautiful um, double sided papers. Um, as you know, Tanya shared some of her uh, graphic 45 um, papers with me, and I have got various other papers here, um, double sided that I don't I don't pull on them very often. Um, and I thought the same thing. I don't want to just cut them down into a fours to make a journal. So I've done pretty much the same thing. So they are a four by four page. Um, Creased. What's the word? What do you do on this? <laughs> Scored, that's it. Isn't it. Scored and folded. And then the flat cut. I'm going to do a couple with you. Um, yeah, and then you get these beautiful, beautiful pockets. Now, these are a bit thicker papers. In fact, it's going to be a really lovely journal, this one. Um, you know, and you can have your pockets either side. I haven't cut down that one yet, but they do all need cutting down to fold nicely. Yeah, I've cut down some and not others. Um, you know, they want gluing down. But I don't have to do anything with these at all. They're just absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Um, maybe this one wants something on it. But, you know, it's perfect for a photograph or something like that. So I've got a page of Tim Holtz in there. Um, and then these beautiful papers. So we're all pink and blue. It's lovely, that one, isn't it? Um, the one thing you really need to do is think about when you're folding your page up. Um, how your image from the front is upside down so with these flowers you know it's going to be upside down that's fine I didn't mind if it would have if it, if it would have looked silly upside down I'd have had to have folded it that way does that make sense if I press play yes um you know so that your image is the right way and and your your pockets are the right way so yeah if you've got something which I'm going to have you know with this if I fold that bottom up, it's going to be upside down on the other side. You might not mind that. Um, I don't want it. It will it will aggravate me, I know. So what I will have to do is lose some of this, turn it this way. I mean, the, the blue is beautiful anyway, isn't it? And just have the um, beautiful pages up there. So I, what I'm doing is trimming as I go along because they are quite thick. Um, the further out I go... Um, the more they're in need of, you know, a spine. So that page, and I believe that page, yeah, I've got a little spine on, and the middle ones, no, I've just folded in the middle. Um, just so they all fit inside each other. And 
you know I think I'm going to put another one on the outside which will need a spine and I'm going to put two more on the inside without spines and then every time I, I add one on the outside I have to trim the, the inside ones a bit more um, because they're not covering so you can see there what's going on yeah now I've added this outside page that graphic 45 uh, that Tim Holtz one is too big, so maybe the things underneath it. So I'll show you how I'm doing it. It, it might be a long, long-winded way round, but um, you know, it's Saturday and I haven't, you know, this is what I'm doing. I'm sitting and playing, so and I said I'd show you. So hopefully, that's my big board. You'll be able to see what's going on because I'm on the big board and the big cutter. Um, so first of all, you need to make sure that your pages are 12 by 12. They're not all built evenly let me tell you with uh, branding strips and um, yeah you see that one is slightly slightly smaller in width than it is in height than it is in width yeah about an eighth of an inch but yeah it's definitely different um yeah i'll have to think get my head around whether that matters or not but you know if there's a big difference probably an eighth of an inch won't make any difference but you know some of them if they're like a centimeter difference you perhaps need to decide where you want them so i know that this bottom bit is going to be this is going to be the bottom because it's um it's a pattern that has to go one way so what i've decided to do is i right, what i think i'm doing four inches one or two of them i've done at three and a half but yeah i think four is what i've done uh, for the bottom pocket so I'll scar across there so when that's folded up, it's quite a big pocket, as you can see, but I've still got that beautiful. Now, if I wanted to see more of that, I could trim some of that off, of course. Um, you can see how when it's folded over, it doesn't, it doesn't want to lay flat anyway, so that's why you have to cut um, down the middle of the bottom half. And then this paper is spot on 12 that way, so that's okay. That's why it would make a difference. If you, if you weren't, um, you know, spot on 12 that way, you'd have to find the middle without, you know, another way other than measure. But luckily it's 12 that way, so six should find me in the middle. Right, that was going to be an outside one, but I've done it right in the middle, so it's now going to be an inside one. So for the inside ones, that's all you do. Fold them up and crease them. There we go. And cut. So you want to take a little strip out of the middle, um, not too big, but you know, uh, what an eighth of an inch, maybe, maybe three sixteenths of an inch, slightly bigger than that. I don't know. That's only an eighth of an inch, isn't it? Depends how well your papers fold. You know, when you when you fold them, uh, the worst ones are the ones that you fold in. So if I wanted to fold that in. Yeah, it is catching, look. You see what I mean? Just catching a little bit. So I'll just trim them. I don't think I've cut that straight, actually. Tiny bit more. You want as little as you can get away with, really. So you've got, you know, you haven't got a lot of... Oh, yeah, I obviously didn't do it in the middle because it's fine now. <laughs> so you've got a lot of... Uh, you don't want a lot of the pattern showing down the side. Although it will be in the spine, to be honest. So you probably wouldn't even see... Yep, so they'll fold either way and lie nice and neatly. Now that's going to be too wide anyway, so don't worry about that because, like I say, each time I add one, I have to, I have to trim everything. So where, where would I like that one? And obviously you can decide which way you want your pockets. It might be nice each side of that because that's quite plain, isn't it, and dark. Oh, it's a lot shorter than that one. How did that happen? Maybe I did the other ones at three, the pockets. You can see I've done them all over. So, yeah, yeah, look, that was a bigger pocket. That's a smaller pocket. To get them the same at the top without cutting them, and they all need the same size um, pockets. Yeah, that pocket's different. So I'm going to leave that in as a smaller one because I love it and I don't want to... Um, I know it won't be that one that's cut down anyway, is it? Yeah, I don't want to cut all the other ones down to fit it. And again, it is just, I'm just learning as I go. I hope I'm not confusing you. But you can see now I've added that 
um, I've got all that overhang, but I think I'm going to do the overhang last um, instead of constantly cutting them. So one, two, three, it's chunky, <laughs> four, five, six, I've got six so far. I think I went for nine, did I? Eight. There's only six there. Yeah, there's only six. But I've got nine, but I think eight's probably going to be enough. It is a lovely thick um, size signature. Okay, so let's go with this one. So, I don't think it matters which way I have it. I like the green best, so. Are you 12? No, you're 11 and three quarters. And you're 11 and 7 eighths. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Um, this is a Graphics 45 one. So, I wanted it that way anyway, didn't I? That's, did I say that was? Well, that's the height, so it doesn't matter. This is one that matters. Yeah, it's one less than 12, so I'll have to think about that when I, I find the middle. But for now. Right, so we're going to three, not four. I'm going to go three and a half, <laughs> just to ring the changes. Obviously, you'll pick a size and, and stick to it, probably, unless you want to trim your top. So I'm going three and a half there. I should be doing it the other way because I want it, want it folded that way. I like the green, I want more, more of the green. Okay, so six, this is, this is tricky. Six isn't quite going to be in the middle, is it? But I'm having a... Yeah, I'm going to do it either side of the six because I'm having a spine in this one. So, is it an eighth of an inch? Each side of the six, and then if one side's longer, it will go in the trimming. Sorry. Let's move that out of the way so you can see what I've done. Remember that pocket's not going to fit properly until I've trimmed it really and the one that I'm putting the um you know the the spine in I'm going to take the whole of the middle piece out this piece oops I'm in my own light oh my finger was under there as well Goodness me, I don't want to see a finger fall off. Okay, I think I've that one tucked in the inside. Just go over the creases again. Oops, yeah, you do get a little bit of a raw edge there. You can always tape it or blob, blob of glue or something like that on it. Okay, so you're going pink and pink. Yeah, I think that'd be nice in there. So let's go in there with that one. So it's not too wide, I don't think. And it's not too high. That one's just nice. You can see how some of them are going to have to be trimmed down to push them right in before you trim them, though. Right, so I think, can you see that? I think I just want one more. I think there's enough gusseted ones. How many gusseted ones have I got? Well, you know, spine. I've got three with a spine. Two, three, four without. I'm going to do another one without. I thought I had the same paper then. So, hmm. that reminds me very much of some wallpaper I used to have when I was a teenager in my bedroom at home with mum. <laughs> I remember choosing it. So let's see. Yeah. Oh, you're a fraction off 12. And you're a fraction off 12, so, but it's square, is the thing. Which way is the right way? That way. That's the bottom. So, what did I measure that at? Three and a half. So, I obviously started at three and a half and then did some at three and some at four. And again, do I want it that way? Yeah, I think I do. So, this 
one's just going down the middle. It's as good as this. I can't. I can't do anything but do it at six. Just do it once more for good measure. Whoops! Don't cut through it. My phone's in the middle. Loving these. Absolutely loving these papers. If I do decide to part with this one, it will be hard <laughs> because it's just beautiful paper-wise. It really doesn't need any uh, embellishment at all, in my opinion. Yeah, you can get up off the floor. <laughs> I really did say that. Oh, well, that's handy. So I've got a little line to follow in the pattern. Oops, come on, wobbly hands. Yep. Big scissors for a tiny cut. So yeah, that's about the amount I want off. Not, not really a bone fold of this today, but never mind. Oh, let's look. Left a little tail. Off you come, that's it. Oh, love that. Okay, let me look through at the um, where I want the patterns and then I can... Um, they're all staying there because they're the three gusseted ones. You're a little shorty, aren't you? I wonder if to put you in the middle. I mean, I did like them amongst all the blues, but... That one's got blue. If we turn that one that way out, we've got blue and we're introducing the pink, as it were. Uh, that one. Aren't they gorgeous? I don't want those in the middle. I don't quite like that one with that one. Mm, decisions, decisions. Maybe with that one. Yeah, I've got two plain, you know, plain blank pages back there, which I can do something with, should I wish. You there? Okay, let me just have a look. You can see about and <laughs> trimming the ends so I want that one these three have to stay on the outside anyway I can't move these about because I've gusseted them now so maybe just I don't know you can't fold them because the gusset's in the wrong place do I like that there I don't know if I do we did have that there originally didn't we I might like it there okay flowers flowers a bit of grungy Bit of wood and wood pink and blue yeah there's too much pink there together definitely too much pink there together sorry but this is how i do it <laughs> this is real life crafting of course we're very thick at the bottom now you could do up tucks put some at the top and some at the bottom um yeah that's a good idea i'm just thinking as i know that one's upside down but it's tim holtz and you know, he puts his stuff upside down, sideways on and back to front. So, yeah, I like the flow of that better. Yeah, I think so. I think that's it. So I've got enough with the eight. And, um, you know, if you look at the bottom end, it's probably easier. Ooh, where are you meant to be? Oh, that one's got a... Seems bigger that one. Bigger spine. This spine seems very small on this. I don't know what's happened. Maybe that's changed everything. <laughs> that's got quite a big spine on it. So the spine is now dictating where I have everything. And that's got quite a big spine. Right, we might have Tim Holtz on the outside. And then we've got in here pink and green yep 
<laughs> are you still with me or are you fed up of looking right i'm having tim holtz on the outside and then do i even want that let's see it doesn't really go with all the pinks does it and pastels to be honest nor does that blue one okay <laughs> yeah i'd rather have it small but beautiful so pink green pink and blue pink and blue pink and blue that's better isn't it right i think we've got it <laughs> i think i've got it all i need to do now is trim the edges yeah love that love that not different yeah it's don't know why i keep similar color i think must be from the same pad yes yes and yes okay so i need to make sure to put that one in no i don't think i will have it in the middle i'll have it lower down i can always um <coughs> put some lace across the top if i feel it's odd i mean they're all different lengths look because of the different size pockets i've put in them and i'm just wondering if i might make these pockets a bit smaller because i love that paper and i'd like to see more of it i think i will okay bear with me <laughs> Sorry about the cough. Um, I don't think I've got my cough sweets here. I haven't. So, if you're wondering about scraps on Sunday, it is going to happen. And about there, do we think? So there's going to be two one-hour videos. So I know you didn't get one on Friday. Um, and what I made with the scraps, I wanted to finish um, embellishing. Um, and I wanted you to see it all in the one day, so yeah, it, it's over two hours, I think, worth of films. I've split them into two. That's a bit wider one side than the other look. I split them into two so that, um, well, so that I could upload it, but you don't have to watch them. So you don't have to watch them all in one go either. Yeah, so a lot of what I do is um, trial and error with my trimming, I'm afraid. That's just how I roll. <laughs> Yeah, I love that one in the middle. Yeah, I like that there's more of that now as well. So, all I need to do is get the edge, and I am going to get the big trimmer up for that. Um, now, you could do it with a, I often do, but I'm not this time, um, you know, a mat and a knife and a ruler. But today, I'm just going to, now, because I've done some of them as I went along, and now I've completely moved them about, some of them are thinner than the outside ones, so. We'll just go with that. I could all make them as thin as the thinnest, but do I want to do with that? The, the thing is, you need to make sure they're really well down in the middle. You're just jumping up again, aren't you? So yeah, the first one that's too big, and it's about yay too big, <laughs> about two millimetres on each side. And this is what I do, trial and error. So I can get the whole side in um, and get a nice level bottom here. I don't know how much you can see. About two, two millimetres, what is it? Millimetre and a half. Oh, I don't know what made me do that. I normally go up and down. But you don't feel like I say. Now I know why I go up and down, just to catch the bits that... It's always back at my end. Okay, where was he? These are the ones that we're saying are okay. You in the middle, yep. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know how well you can see. Yep, yeah, that's inside beautifully. So the next one is the green one. longer on one side and then the other as well that's bizarre isn't it okay so the side i've got needs a good chunk of it that's an official measurement a good a good chunk <laughs> and then oh that's why it's because it's a gusseted one that one wants a couple of millimeters a millimeter maybe just did it one way again didn't i 
Oh, I know why, because it's gusseted and I've moved it into the middle after I said I couldn't. Did you know that? <laughs> well, obviously I can. Yep, yeah, you're too wide now. I'll take more off this beautiful one. It was quite a bit too wide, but I'm just going to play it by ear. Isn't this one I've just cut on the... No, I cut the pockets on it, didn't I? On the little trimmer, I was going to say. It is, but it was the pockets that I cut. Are you in? You are. Okay, so they're all that size or smaller, and they're all that tall or smaller. So we need to um, sew it together. Okay, so you probably realise to sew it in, I need a cover to sew it into. So I had to go hunt, hunt for a cover to use. Um, luckily, I found one that was nearly finished, but not quite. So I'm using this. Um, that's upside down. <laughs> and I've put something on the inside so I'm going to have to I know it'll still work I'll show you in a minute <laughs> yeah I had it upside down so that's the front okay <laughs> no worries so the inside wasn't finished so what I did was I put those two um, uh, I cut that page up and put those in there but they can be up tucks can't they remember I said you can do them as up tucks I haven't even glued them down yet so I could cut them off but I think I'll have them as up tucks um, anyway <laughs> we'll ignore that for now um, maybe I need to glue them down to it, it fits and it fits just so you have to make sure I get everything in the right place to sew it in and I think what I will do is just in that middle page I will put some uh, mica pore tape you won't even know it's there really it's stuck to me um, yeah just because this, this thicker uh, scrapbooking paper can um, you know, sometimes the the awl and the uh, the needle can leave a big hole that doesn't close up again. Um, now, obviously, the same is is going to be said for all of them, but I just think it gets so much more um, there. You know, that's getting pulled on, and then the outside of this gets pulled on. But of course, that's got fabric, so so let's get these lined up. I mean, I haven't stuck any of these down yet, so. Um, yeah, that's going to be a job for another day, as is <laughs> filling it and, you know, finishing it and what have you. Another, it'll be another project on the side waiting to finish, but I am slowly getting through them. Um, I am sitting longer and longer um, without any pain, although I probably have sat a bit too long today, but I'm nearly done. I think doing the, the, two, the two videos... Um, Make sure you're right down at the bottom, that's it. Yeah, the two one-hour videos for Sunday and this one was probably a bit much. Wondering if I ought to just trim that that one. It's just a little bit um well, it's right on the edge, so it's giving me no room, no leeway. Excuse the big oh now, I don't want to do too much, otherwise it'll end up a lot shorter than the others, so I'm thinking about half a millimetre. Would you say that's half a millimetre? In the scheme of things, it can make a big, a big difference. I suppose I could always trim it with scissors afterwards if it's, you know, if I don't quite get it in the, um, in the cover properly, but... I'd rather just, yeah, that's it, it's exactly, it changes when you squeeze it down. Oh, don't say I'm going to sneeze. I haven't got time to sneeze in. No more sneezing, please. Okay, let's get that nice and neat in there then. That needs to be down because it's, are we in? Just. Destination. You made life hard for yourself. I could go back and trim them all, but oh, I like a challenge. <laughs> don't end up sticking them out the bottom because you don't want them out the top. I think let's get them clipped. Then I can have a look. Well, sometimes the clips make things worse. I got them in 
the right way now. That's the back, that's the front. Yes. Oh, down you go then. Right, let's have a look. So, yeah, we're all in at the top. We're all in at the bottom. So, if I can <laughs> keep them like that while I put some thread through, job will be a good one. As they say. I could put a needle anywhere. Don't want that massive one. Yep, yeah, there we go. Gosh, yeah, I have. I feel like I've been in here all day. I've been in here an awful lot today. Neil's at work, so he's coming up for his five days off again. <laughs> so I'm at least I'm I'm ahead again now. So where do I want the strings? I quite like them on the outside, but I need something to dig into. <laughs> Use my book. So I need to keep it as closed as possible when I'm putting the hole in. Which is a bit difficult with your hand in it. Am I through? Yeah. Okay. And I need to go in from the outside in. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm in. I could feel it. Don't you be wobbling about. I feel you. It's the way you should be. I think so. So we'll go up the top. Yep. And this one will go in out, so it should Fairly easy, yes. I didn't want to say that until I'd got it through. Tempting fate and all that. Ooh. Okay. Halfway there. So I want a similar amount. So quite low down. Oh, go away, sneeze. I feel a sneeze. It just won't go away. But I hope it doesn't come to anything. Right, do we look about level? That's not bad, you know. We're coming back in this one, so this is always the trickier. Push it a bit further. I like to put the needle in as the oil comes out, and then the hole doesn't have time to either move or close up. <laughs> in theory, come through. Oh, I caught on something. No. Nope. And then, oops. Close it up again to try and get through that hole once more. Ooh. And we're through. Super. That looks nice and neat in there. So let me just pull one of these and make sure they're not attached. They're not. Pull the other one. Oh, that was good. I've even got one either side of that, so job's a good one. Again, it's my favourite saying today. Oh yeah, that's quite tight. You've tied that, Denise. Good job I put the tape on it, isn't it? Okay, let's have a look at what we've got. It's a pretty cover. Another one of my patchworky ones. Oh, I've just got an itchy nose. Oops. Get some stuff out of the way. That's it. Okay, so yeah, don't know what I'm going to do with those yet. Probably put some lace over there and some dangles, but let's have a look what we've got. So I'm not going to put those down. I'm going to think about that, you know, with some lace and what have you on. It might be a nice up tuck or, you know, some paper covering. So I'm just going to leave my options open. I am literally just in the bottom look exactly. So yeah, these will all be stuck down. Um, when I've got them opposites like that, um, I'll probably trim that off to make it the same height as that. That one's fine because it's on its own. Beautiful pages, aren't they? Yeah, so two with no pocket. Again, a pocket on its own so it doesn't matter. See, that's not it. It hasn't gone in the centre. There's quite a chunk there showing. That one's better. I love that you can see actually the different. Um, I wonder if you're a bit far away now. I wanted you to see all the. Is that too much? Oops. Uh, can you see it? 
see all the different coloured papers, which you wouldn't see if they were all in a row. There's my middle. Okay, and they'll be glued down. So pretty. Oops. Um, yeah, I don't know. Not quite sure what went on there, but I think a, a bit, bit of lace might be involved <laughs> in that pocket. Oh, that's the one that had the um, uh, the spine put in it. Beautiful. Oh, it just fills me with fills me with joy just looking at it like this. Such beautiful papers. Yeah, again, those two. So same as the, the front, aren't they? Just got them different sizes, so we'll get them the same size. And yeah, I think with a different paper on there and some lace and whatever, that's going to be a nice up tuck for a change. Oh, I love it. Okay, so thank you for joining me for that. I hope it's um, yeah helped you come up with some ideas for your um, 12 by 12 papers. Like I say, don't forget the thin ones with the white backgrounds. This will be made into something too. Maybe this can be the cover for that. We'll see. So they'll be going in the to complete box and you'll see them again one day. Okay, I hope you have a lovely what's left of your Saturday and uh, yeah, remember, book yourself two one-hour spots tomorrow to watch to watch Sundays. Okay, bye for now.